wait times, lost medical records, the hassle of crossing the water just to get care. Those are just a few of the complaints we hear from veterans when they talk about the Hampton VA Medical Center. Our Chris Horn has been investigating how the military hospital is keeping up with a rapidly increasing caseload. So Chris, what have you found out? Well, Lex, they are adding capacity in a number of different departments. The waterside location means the Hampton VA has few options to expand outward. Wait times are still, though, longer than the national average, and new safeguards are in place to better protect private medical information. Medical Center now has more operating rooms and a dialysis department. It also added a new building dedicated to mental health, a department where demand is increasing rapidly. But some vets still have a hard time getting in. We're able to provide a spectrum of care uh, for those who are battling depression uh, all the way through PTSD and inpatient mental health as well. My next appointment is next year. My last appointment was, on that, see that July? Okay. That don't make no sense. The CHOICE program helped that vet get care from a private provider. I'll update you on that program. Plus, a major satellite hospital on the south side remains on the drawing board, but for how much longer? We look at the progress and the problems for the Hampton VA. My special report airs tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. In the newsroom, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.